Welcome back to episode 13 of Money Equals M Squared. My name is Mike Torello. I'm here with my co-host, Mike Lucas, and today's guest, Steve Versace, who's the owner of Triton Athletics in Wallingford, Connecticut. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing in on how to create your own fitness goal, why it's important to stay physically fit. And, you know, Steve, uh, I know you've worked with Mike before. Mike, why don't you introduce Steve a little bit, and then we'll get started with today's episode. So, sounds good. So, I've known Steve for, let's say, numerous years before I had kids. Uh, so Steve's near and dear to my fitness heart. Um, he took in my wife earlier on and uh, she made me start to go to the gym and it's been great and a great experience. I've met some great friends, um, but a little bit about Steve. Uh, Steve's hardworking, dedicated. Um, he's always wanting you to do more, always wants you to become a better person um, and he's loud. So uh, <laughs> Steve, why don't we take a couple minutes, tell us a little bit more about uh, yourself. First. Well, I want to thank you both for having me here today, and uh, it's great. It's great coming in and sharing what I do for a living and, and sharing with, with your, uh, your member audience. So uh, a little bit about me. I, I started in this industry uh, in 2011. What got me into doing CrossFit was um, I was a, a police officer, a retired police officer, and I was doing squat competitions uh, with my uh, team, and we needed a, a place of how to train. We needed to get better. So we found CrossFit um, in 2011, and we opened the CrossFit as a hobby, and it quickly turned into a business. Um, and that business, I've been doing that since 2011, and then in 2017, I transformed cross, uh, Triton, uh, CrossFit Triton into Triton Athletics, which now is a athletic company that encompasses uh, CrossFit, um, strength conditioning, personal training, nutrition, uh, wellness programs for our, our members, um, and. That's about where we're at today. Awesome. So, Steve, what we're going to do today, we're going to ask you six questions, really talking about why it's important to stay physically fit. What can it do for you? How does Triton fit into that equation? So, why don't we get started? Why is it so important to stay physically fit? Uh, the, the most important for, to stay physically fit is for your, for your mental wellness. That's, that's the most important piece of this. Uh, being physically fit and just taking care of your body and investing in yourself is important because that transforms into your mental wellness. Um, and we really push that with our members and all our athletes that we work with. Um, because if you have a healthy mind, your body's healthy as well. Um, but that's the most important thing and why you should be getting yourself fit, just taking time for yourself. Um, our class is an hour a day and that hour is just relief for folks, for professionals, uh, and any, anybody who wants to train. So it's very important for that reason. It's funny you brought up investing. You know, obviously coming from the investment side of it, yeah, you got to put your time in to get a a, a, a good outcome. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, next question. Let's say um, you haven't been as physically fit for a long, long time. Um, I'm sure it's hard to get into it and, and, and to get in there, but how would you recommend, Steve, first getting started? What's that first step you should take? Yeah, so we hear that a lot with, with CrossFit because CrossFit, it's intimidating for folks uh, and our facility is intimidating. So we do, we get that a lot. Like, oh my God, I've been, I'm not, I haven't worked out in years or months and I can't just get into this. And what we tell the folks is, is that that's not a reason not to start with us because with, with CrossFit and any of our training segments that we do, they can be modified. And when we modify workouts, we can modify for anyone. Um, from um, you know a, a teenager, a, a kid, all the way to anybody, any age is we can modify for. So we try to not allow people to use that reasoning not to come into the gym. Uh, we we push that you can start at any point in your life. Yeah, I mean, especially you know, with uh, speaking it from my angle, you know, I've been doing it for a long time, but there's a lot of months where I just can't make it in, whether it's sports, school, um, you know, coaching. It's hard for me to get in there. I try to get in there at least once a month. But even that once a month I'm in there, you know, as you become more and more involved in CrossFit, you know your limits and you know what will hurt afterwards. You try to get there as much as possible and then pause right before. Yeah, and we do have members who do that and, you know, such as yourself, but you're, you're selling yourself a little short because when you do come in that once a month, <laughs> then you do very well. So um, that, that's, a, that's an example of somebody who, again, wants to invest in their, their fitness and their, their wellness. And that's, that's an, an very important for us. Yeah. So, I mean, it sounds like, you know, similar to like what we preach when we're working with our clients, like it's just important to get started, right? Don't make the excuse of it's been too long or it's going to be too hard. It's just get started. And, and, you know, you guys have coaches and stuff that are, that are trained to help people get going with that. Yes. Yeah. And that our coaching staff is, that's what they're there for. Um, 
you know, we have a professional coaching staff. Uh, they are, they have education behind them. Um, that's something we push. Uh, and that's why they're there is to make sure everybody moves safely. Everybody knows their limits. And, you know, we have people who try to push out of their limits, which is great. And we encourage that. But we also want them to be safe and train safely. And that's what our coaches do. I think you brought up a good point there, Steve. There's, there's multiple layers of athletes at your gym. And if you want to be the person that really wants to turn it on and go to the next level, you know, there are coaches who will help you for that. There are people that just want to feel better and just be involved in the community. And from firsthand experience, you know, I, I know we have one of the best communities out there. Um, there's just great people, you know, even on a social aspect of it. A lot of times, sometimes there's too much social, you know, socializing going on, you know, not enough fitness, yeah. but you know, those are good problems to have when, when you're in this industry. Yeah. That's it. It gives people, like I said before, an outlet. Um, it's just not about the fitness. It's about the community and being involved in that community and having other people to lean on. People are going through the same thing as you. Um, you know, when you're going through a workout and you're tired and you beat down the person next to you is going just as hard and you want to catch up to that person or things like that. So you always want to better yourself. And I think that's what we, that's a good promotion of what they, these, of these athletes do. Awesome. So when you're at Triton, what are some of the programs, you know, you mentioned CrossFit, what are some of the other things that, that people can really take advantage of to improve themselves? So our CrossFit is, is CrossFit is one of our main staples of what we do. Um, but we also offer strength conditioning and we train athletes from all over the place, uh, from college, professional, uh, youth athletes, we have team training that we do. Um, another aspect of what we do is our nutritional programs. Um, we run nutrition challenges for folks uh, just to get them jump started. Again, because folks want to you know, get into a nutrition, but they, they think, oh, I gotta start eating right before I do that. So we help them do that. We just help them get on the track and make it simple for them. Uh, and we offer our personal training. Um, our personal training is, is big because it's one-on-one -on -one, uh, with our clients uh, and, and some folks like that. And what happens with that is some folks will start that way and then move into the CrossFit uh, classes. Now, how different, if you're doing say personal training versus your athlete team training and CrossFit, how different are the actual workouts of what someone's actually doing? Or is it more just the environment and the setup that they're doing it in? So personal training is more geared to, we have, we have to meet with our clients prior to they start their personal training. And we gear our personal training towards what their goals are. And their goal might be to get into a CrossFit class. So we would tailor that to them to get them to that point. Some athletes uh, who come in for personal training just want to get fit and feel better and don't really want that big environment of the class because some of our classes are very large. So they just want to feel you know, that one-on-one -on -one attention and that's perfectly fine as well. But they all have different goals and reasons why they do it. Perfect. So one of the things that I noticed, Steve, I, I go on and I do the class on Saturday morning, you know, which is like, you know, a, a joint class or a partner class. You know, afterwards, there's a lot of young kids running around and, and all of the kids have a smile on their face. Do you, I know you have a great kids program there. Um, tell us a little about the kids program. So we do have a CrossFit kids program, which we have certified coaches that run that program. Um, and they come in, we run that through our park and rec, the Wally for park and rec. And we also run a summer camp as well, uh, which the dates, um, I don't know them offhand, but they are coming up, but they're in August. Uh, we run that program with their, and what the kids do is we basically, we want the kids just to learn and love fitness. Um, you know, their workouts are fun. They have games involved in them where they play musical do ball, dodgeball, they do different types of things. It's just to promote fitness within the kids. Uh, and what that does too is when the parents see that, that their kids are doing that, they want to do it. Um, so it, it really promotes a really healthy family environment. Yeah, you know, and I think that's so important, right? Like um, you look at just the country as a whole, right? You're seeing more and more childhood obesity and kids being yeah. out of shape and things like that. And a lot of it points back to lack of activity, right? It's yeah. not so much, right? Nutrition can always be better, right? But it's not necessarily nutrition as the number one reason. It's kids are not involved in athletics. They're not involved in fitness. And like you said, it's making it fun, yeah. right? Like I, I coach my two sons in t-ball. Mike's coaching his son, yeah. you know, in baseball. It's making the game fun so they love the game and, and fitness is no different no the kids they love it and you know you brought up obese childhood obesity and you know within our program we talk about like healthy foods healthy snacks um but again that only goes so far um activity is activity you know kids running around baseball fields running around soccer fields you bring in our facility just doing what they have and they love it they have so much fun doing it so we really want to promote that and, and like i said that really promotes a whole family 
dynamic, which is great. That's awesome. Yeah, I know you do a lot of work too with some of the high schools and things like that. You know, the kids yeah. that are younger, they go in there and smiling. Those uh, high school kids aren't smiling as much with some of the workouts you put them through. <laughs> no, so our strength and conditioning program is is really um, big in, in this area. Um, we train, like I said, athletes from all over the place, from all the way from professional all the way down to little guys. Um, we love it because we just we see them grow, um, and and it's watching them grow and doing their you know, having success on the whatever field they play on or whatever they do is is, is huge for us um, because it's them doing the work and it, it can't, we can't can't be happier for them. Yeah, and in every sport now, strength and being physically fit is that much more important, yeah. right? It's not you know you look at athletes today, you know, especially on the professional level, they are physically fit and strong, yeah. and you need to put the time in and you yeah. need to work like like Mike said, they're they're not smiling coming out, yeah. but. But they're smiling when the success happens on the field. Yeah, yeah. My own two kids, Brady and Sydney. You know, and, and my oldest son Tyler. He, um, you know, he does CrossFit regularly. He he found the love of CrossFit through our family. Um, when he was a kid, he wasn't really into it, and now he loves it. And my two my two younger ones, my daughter and my son, they train specifically for, for sport. They're both very good athletes, and they one plays at the uh, collegiate level field hockey, and my son plays high school. And they both see the value in what, what work they put in. They see the outcome on the field. They, they, and that's what we really like to see with our athletes. We want them to see what they invest, just like we talk about investing. We want to see what, what the outcomes are. Awesome. Perfect. So let's take a break here. We'll head to our community spotlight, and then we'll come back and finish up with Steve. Perfect. Welcome to this week's community spotlight. The segment of our show, we focus in on the local businesses that are in our community. This week, we're focusing in on our guest, Steve Versace from Triton Athletics. Triton Athletics is a world-class fitness facility that serves the local towns of Wallingford, Durham, Meriden, Middletown, Cheshire, and more. They're open seven days a week with over 7,000 square feet of total space. Triton Athletics is located at 20 Capital Drive in Wallingford and can be reached on the phone at 203-626-9388. Five, nine. A community that will help make you faster, stronger, and healthier. This is a place where we want to be the best part of your day, every day. Again, that's Triton Athletics, located at 20 Capital Drive in Wallingford, Connecticut. Welcome back. We're here with Steve Rosacci from Triton Athletics, going over the importance of healthy lifestyle and working out. Steve, getting back to it. Explain a little bit of, of what CrossFit is and how it can benefit people of all ages. Yeah, so CrossFit was, uh, came out uh, for, it's constantly varied fitness, basically what it is. It's different modalities, different movements all the time. There's no one workout the same. That's what they promote. Um, so why, why is it important for all ages? Because we can, like I said, we can modify to any age. We can do if, whatever workout is the workout of the day. It's called the WOD. So what a workout of the day is, everybody who walks in the gym can do that workout, somehow, some way. Meaning, we can change weights, we can change movements, we can, we can modify however we need to modify that workout to fit that person. So, folks love that because they don't have to think about their workouts. They can just come into the gym, they know they're there for an hour, they warm up, they get into the workouts, and they know, hey, I just have to do what, what the coach is telling me to do. And people really like that. So, so you talk a little bit about modifications there, Steve. So go through an, a specific example. Let's say there's one part of the work in there that someone says, no way, I can't do that. Give, give us an example of what a modification would be. So some folks who might be experiencing some shoulder issues uh, can't really go overhead. We'll modify that movement from them to go over, overhead. We'll give them something else to do in that workout. Um, so they won't have to go overhead. Uh, folks who can't do a pull-up per se, a full pull-up, we get, have them do ring rows. Um, things like that. You can't do a box jump up, jump up onto a box. We have you do a box step up. So there's all different ways we can modify those for them to do. Uh, people who don't like to run, they can row or they can ride on one of our assault bikes. So that's, those are some of the modifications. Awesome. You, you mentioned with the, the workout of the day, it's a, no two workouts are the same. It's pre-planned for you. How important is it when you're working out to change up what you're doing on a daily basis? Yeah, so we, we found that, that the CrossFit methodology that's what they've found for all these years that they started going this they've found that they're changing up the different modalities and changing up the movements all the time 
It's important because your body's always, you're always doing something different. Um, you're burning different, you know, your calories. You're burning calories in your different systems and all that kind of fun stuff. So people love that. They love just not having to come into the gym, do bench press four times a week, you know, or just doing something. They love just coming in, doing all these different movements. That's awesome. Yeah, I think you look at it, you never say you do one movement or one movement twice, but they do kind of look back and, and that's nice. I mean, if you go through some of the opens and things along yeah. those lines, they repeat some of the workouts and it's pretty cool because it sees how you've progressed or yeah. regressed, you know, in those areas. Yeah, so we do have some benchmark workouts that we will retest uh, and the, our members really don't know that unless they're tracking themselves. <laughs> Uh, but it's important for them to see how much they're, what they're gaining, their, their progressions. It, it's awesome to see with these guys, with our folks. And even at my age, maintaining. You're like, oh, I did that, you know, five years ago. Yeah. I'm still at the same level. Yeah. I don't know if you still like Fran. Like, but. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, so with those workouts, for someone that's never done cross before, what does a typical workout look like? So we're, a typical workout in our gym at Triton Athletics is you, we have, like I said, they're coach led. They're about an hour um, every day from the start of class, but our workouts are about an hour. So you come in, we brief you at the board, talk to you about what's going to go on today and what the expectations are for the workout, uh, and then we'll get you into a full warm up. Um, that full warm up could be anywhere from you know running 400 meters, biking, rowing getting your body, just getting the blood flowing, basically. Uh, and after that, we stretch you as a class. The whole class stretches together, uh, depending on the movements of the day. Whatever we're doing, if, you, you know, if you're gonna do you know, pressing, we're gonna start getting your upper body stretch and all that good stuff. And then, after that, we get you guys into the workout. And once they start the workout, they could vary from you know, 10 minutes all the way up to 30 minutes. Um, and then, they finish the workout. Um, some coaches will stretch our Folks, after the workout, because it's important to stretch after you're done working out, um, or some coaches might do some other different things with our classes. So there's always something different, but you're, you're going to be there with us for an hour uh, getting trained. I think for me that's important. Now I know exactly how much time I'm going to put into it, how much time I'm going to get out of it. You know, I, I know when you walk into a, you know, a, a place, you don't really know whether it's going to be half an hour or, or two hours. Yeah. I think it's important that we keep to that one hour standard. And sometimes you finish you know, 45 minutes and you maybe ride the bike for you know, 10 minutes, yeah. something along those lines. It's a full hour of workout and you can program it into your daily routine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's so important too. Like you mentioned, you know, you're working with a coach, you have a plan, you know it's an hour, right? Uh, you know, a lot of people, you, know, you have your athletes that are coming to CrossFit, yep. but a lot of people are coming from work, right? And, and the scariest part with getting started is, I don't have the time. Well, it's one hour. Yep. Schedule it, you have a schedule, you know, like Mike, you were talking about your Saturday class, like it's got a time. It's not just, hey, a bunch of people are gonna show up on Saturday. You know, it's a specific time on Saturday and you're going to that class. Yeah, and I think folks like the, the schedule. Uh, you know, we offer several classes throughout the day, starting at 5.30 a.m. And then we, you know, we go through the mid-morning, you know, lunchtime, and then we go into the evening classes. So it doesn't, it, we have those ways to have them not build their excuses in, right? So, and there's times when our lives are busy. Everybody's life is busy. A life happens, and we, we know that. But we tr really try to offer as much as we can to make sure you can get into the gym. Uh, because we know it's important. That's great. Um, so one more question, you, know, you mentioned briefly before, you know, dialing in nutrition. Mm -hmm. How would you recommend someone? What should they be looking for? What can you guys do to help them? So we, we have a nutritionist on staff with us, uh, Coach Brooke. And she, you know, she helps our folks dial up their nutrition. And it, she makes it very simple with them for my, uh, macros and things like that. Just understanding a very simple ways I call the bento box. And you fill this bento box with these compartments of, you know, a vegetable, a protein, and a fat. And that's a very simple way just to get your nutrition dialed in. Um, and folks, you know, folks don't see it that way. They think like, okay, I gotta just cut all these things out of my, my, my lifestyle, which is not the case. You have to live life and you have to enjoy life. That's one of the biggest things. Why you have, invest in your fitness is so you can enjoy your life, you know, and be healthy, run around with your kids, you know, enjoy your life on the weekends. Yeah, I mean, you know, for, for me, it's it's what can I do with them and showing them the right thing to do. You know, you mentioned the bento box. Yeah. That's what I, my kids take to school as a lunchbox, mm -hmm. right? So they're working on that portion control right away. They don't realize it, yeah. but it's, it's oh, I want, you know, I want goldfish. It's like, okay, well, you, you got this container. Yeah. Like that, that's all you get for it. Yeah. It's not take the whole box with you. Yeah, And, Absolutely. you know, I think that's really helpful. 
All right, great, Steve. This has been very, very helpful, uh, definitely educational. Um, what else do you think we might need to add to this for someone to start or continue a fitness journey, maybe make a change? Anything else you want to add? I, I think somebody, you know, folks just have to make a decision that they, they, want, they want to be fit and, and better their lives. You know, like I said, invest in, your, invest in yourself. You have to find that time within yourself and make time for yourself to be, to, to be happy. And I think fitness and working out and being in an environment such as our environment, um, you know, being around like-minded folks and having that, that same initial goals, I think it's great. I think it's very common, you know, we, we have a lot that go hand in hand with financial fitness and, yep. you know, and I think, uh, you know, the, the couple things, it's stay investing in yourself, yep. stay disciplined, and the hardest part is really just getting started, you know, and the same thing with investing. A lot of those go hand in hand. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think like you said, it's just hammering down those goals and everything like that. So, you know, big thank you to Steve for coming on today. Thank but this me. wraps up uh, episode 13 of Money Equals M Squared. Again, check us out online, lltwm.com or on Instagram at Team LLT. Thanks. Thank you. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are not necessarily the views and opinions of Satera Investment Services. Any recommendations mentioned in this episode are meant for educational purposes only and should not be construed as advice or personal recommendations. Always consult your financial advisor, tax advisor, or attorney for details related to your specific risks, goals, and objectives. Investments have risk and can lose value. They are not FDIC insured. The situations presented are hypothetical to illustrate key topics and should not be construed as actual client situations or experiences. Lagus Lucas and Torello Wealth Management operates under Satera Investors and is responsible for the production of this show. All views and opinions are solely that of Lagus Lucas and Torello Wealth Management. You should always obtain a prospectus when available prior to investing to know your risk, costs, and fees associated with the investment. The advice and strategies presented today are general in nature and should not be used in your planning until you consult with your attorney and CPA on your specific situation. A diversified portfolio does not assure a profit or protect against loss in a declining market. Asset allocation is an investment strategy that will not guarantee a profit or protect you from loss. Satera Investors is a marketing name of Satera Investment Services, securities and insurance offered through Satera Investment Services, LLC, member FINRA SIPC, advisory services offered through Satera Investment Advisors, LLC. Satera is under separate ownership from any other named entity, 127 Washington Avenue, second floor west, North Haven, Connecticut, 06473, phone number 203-239-4545. Individuals affiliated with this broker-dealer firm are either investment advisor representatives who offer only investment advisory services and receive fees based on assets or registered representatives who offer brokerage services and receive transaction-based compensation or both an investment advisor representative or registered representative who can offer both types of services.